outgoing year has become the most difficult test of strength for the national Russian automotive industry, which has been dealt a powerful blow by unprecedented Western sanctions. By all accounts, after the imposition of such heavy sanctions, the Russian automotive industry should have ceased to exist within a few months. Let's take a look and evaluate, without any prejudice, what final results in 2022 in such difficult circumstances were shown by the main Russian truck manufacturers and what their plans for 2023 are. There are three such companies in Russia. Two produce heavy trucks, and the third produces light and medium trucks. First, about those companies that stopped working in Russia. That is, about foreign truck manufacturers. These companies, which at various times opened assembly plants in Russia to produce their trucks, could not and did not want to resist unfavorable political circumstances. We are talking about Isuzu plants in Alyanovsk, Volvo and Stiantis in Kaluga, Man and Scania in Esti, Petersburg, Mercedes-Benz and Fuso in neighbor Isni Chelny, Hyundai in Kaliningrad and Iveco in Mias. These factories are either permanently closed or their production has been declared suspended, but they will also close soon. The only company that is trying to refocus on partnerships with other automakers is Iveco Amt, which ceased to be a Russian-Italian joint venture and excluded Iveco from its name. According to information that has not yet been confirmed, she is going to reorient herself to the manufacture of Chinese trucks. And how successful were national Russian truck manufacturers in 2022? Let's start with the main one among them, the Kamaz company. This company was the first in the Russian automotive industry to receive a direct sanction strike, which, as it seemed at first, should stop its plants within a few months. But this did not happen. Trucks of the old lineup, which are also called the K3 model line, Kamaz both produced and continued to produce in the same quantity. And these are the most massive trucks in its production program. True, the release has slowed down a little, since the main emphasis is now on all-wheel drive models, and they are more laborious to manufacture. Nevertheless, Kamaz finishes 2022 at the same level as the previous one. If in 2021 it produced 44,148 trucks, then in 2022 it will produce 43,828 trucks. Maintaining the pace of production even under crushing sanctions is not the only achievement of Kamaz. For many, it was unexpected, but back in August, he restored the rhythmic production of trucks of two new generations. We are talking about the K4 and K5 model lines, and the K4 model line is maximally saturated with Mercedes-Benz components. If in the first half of the year the production of trucks of the new model range was carried out using the previously created backlog of components, now one part of these components is localized, and the other is supplied by new partners. As a result, at the end of the summer, Kamaz entered the monthly production of about 150 K4 generation trucks and about 100 trucks of the newest K5 generation. Moreover, in February 2023, the production of trucks of the K5 model line will grow to 7,003 vehicles per month and gradually, during 2023, will be increased to 1,000 per month. Thus, in 2023 Kamaz expects to manufacture at least 10,000 trucks of the K5 model line. This plan looks especially impressive, given that in 2020, that is, at the very beginning of production, the plant produced about 500, and in 2021, about 1,700 trucks of the K5 model line. In these plans, the Kama automobile plant relies on the active import substitution of fifth generation trucks. In particular, a set of measures was taken to localize their cabins. For the production of modern frames, a new frame production was created. The lion's share of the production of Kamaz K5 trucks falls onto axle main truck tractors. But Kamaz expects that production growth will be facilitated by the active promotion on the market of recently launched 3-axle and 4-axle heavy mining dump trucks, as well as 2-axle chassis for mounting all kinds of special add-ons and using them to deliver goods to hypermarkets. In April, Kamaz launched a new compass truck in modifications with a gross weight of 9.5 and 12 tons, manufactured from Chinese components. At the Kamaz press and frame plant, welding of the compass cabin frame with its subsequent painting has been mastered. And what is the prospect for Kamaz? He set a course for increasing the carrying capacity, introducing the Jupiter 30 in June. 
this is an autonomous mining dump truck with a payload capacity of 30 tons with an electric transmission. He does not have a cabin, he occupies the entire space of the chassis. Now this giant robot is undergoing factory tests, after which it will be transferred for trial operation to a mining enterprise. The manufacturer of heavy trucks is called Ural Automobile Plant. In 2021, it was supposed to be able to manufacture 8,400 trucks in 2022. But then, severe international sanctions hit the country, and how many trucks do you think the company was able to produce in 2022? 9,800 trucks versus 8,700 trucks in 2021. And plans for 2023 include further growth and production of 13,800 trucks. One of the most important projects being implemented by Aftos of Adural is the creation of its own production of heavy-duty bridges. Today, on heavy Ural models, they are Chinese, but their own such bridges have already been developed, which the company began testing last spring. Today, its engineers are working on the creation of a modern production of driving and steered axles and several options for carrying capacity. In 2023, preparations for the production of their drums and hubs will be completed, and the manufacture of the bridges themselves will begin in 2024. In 2022, the plant launched a new workshop for the production of tipper bodies. True, it is still being equipped with robotic equipment, so the new production will start operating at full capacity in 2026. But it already manufactures tipper bodies. One of the most interesting developments of the plant in 22 was an autonomous 4x4 truck, which can be controlled both remotely and in fully automatic mode. But the most promising for civilian use is another truck presented in 2022, the Ural 4360 with a 4x4 wheel arrangement. Its gross weight is 10 tons compared to 12 tons for the currently serially produced two-axle all-wheel drive Ural Next. Instead of a six-cylinder diesel engine, the new model received a four-cylinder Russian YAMZ 534 diesel engine. The springs in the front suspension were replaced by springs, and the power unit included not a mechanical, but an automatic hydromechanical gearbox, the production of which was recently launched by the Russian gas plant. However, there is also an option with a manual transmission. Now the company is studying the demand, how much such a lightweight Ural is interesting to customers. The third Russian national truck manufacturer is the gas company. For the past few years, it has been under the sword of Damocles of delayed American sanctions. The sword fell on the head at the end of May, after which the gas company had to stop the contract assembly of Volkswagen and Skoda cars. But, contrary to expectations, the supply of diesel engines from China for the main products of the gas company, LCV Sobel and Gazelle, continued. True, if earlier engines were supplied by Cummins, now a supplier from Asia has been found, which supplies diesel engines similar in design and characteristics. Nevertheless, the gas company decided to play it safe and organize the production of its own diesel engine, called the Gaz G21A. To do this, having invested 4.5 billion rubles, back in 2021, at one of its industrial sites, Gaz built and launched the Nizhny Novgorod foundry, where they quickly mastered the production of castings of blocks and cylinder heads for engines, crank cases and flywheels. That is, everything without which the production of engines is in principle impossible. Dealers have already received the first LCVS with the new engine for review. And Gaz will start mass production of new diesel engines with a working volume of 2.5 liters in 2023. Nevertheless, the main event of 2022 for Gaz was the launch of the new Sobel and NLCV into mass production. At the very end of 2022, at the end of November, an all-metal van went into series, and at the same time, at the BW Expo bus exhibition, its passenger modification was presented with a fully glazed body and a transformable interior, the rear rows of seats on skids moved forward, freeing up space for cargo. In terms of 2022 results, the Russian market for new LCVS, which was around 142,000 in 2021, has shrunk by about half in 2022. And the sales of the gas company, as expected, decreased by almost the same amount. If in 2021 it sold 63,500 LCVS of all models in Russia, then it will barely be able to overcome the mark of 35,000. 
but even this is a good result in today's conditions. Thus, it must be recognized that the national Russian truck manufacturers withstood the crushing blow of Western sanctions with honor and stamina. Moreover, these sanctions have become an incentive for their development and occupation of new market niches. It turns out that economic sanctions for the Russian industry have not only a negative, but also a positive effect, including stimulating the localization of the production of components, which means creating thousands of new jobs.